Hi guys, my name is Chris Gamble, and I run a program called Contextual Electronics. It's an online apprenticeship program uh, for learning how to do electronics. What that really means is you follow along as we're building real projects, and you basically learn as we go along, right? So you don't learn all of the math up front, you learn math as you need it, and as we reach a new problem, we kind of talk through it and uh, go over exercises that you need to learn that next piece of electronics. A big piece of contextual electronics is doing layout or circuit boards and making new designs. And uh, that's something that we teach with a open source piece of CAD software called KiCAD. Now recently, uh, the course has been going on as it always has, but uh, my own life, I've changed locations, I've changed jobs, I've changed lots of things. Uh, and most importantly, uh, we've changed to KiCAD 5.0. You may have seen a previous video called Should You Switch to 5.0? where the answer is no, <laughs> uh, because it was not yet stable. And what stable means is that there's all of the features that are going on in KiCAD were set in stone, they test tested all the bugs, and they got different packages built for Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux, and different flavors of Linux too. So uh, I think it is, it's time to do that, and what this signifies for me at least is it's time for me to make more videos. So. Here on Kitex Electronics YouTube channel, we're going to be making more videos on a regular basis for, you know, some of it will be reviewing the old stuff because some of the old videos that are online, actually the methodologies have changed. And uh, what that means is that if you go and watch those, you're going to go and say, well, wait, where do I click? And that's, uh, that's, a, that's something frustrating for anyone who's getting started in electronics and getting started with KiCAD. Now, if you haven't used KiCAD before, it's a little bit of a wonky UI. It's a little bit of an old school way of doing things. However, I maintain that it is one of the best paths forward for anyone doing electronics these days. Uh, it's open source. Uh, there's regular developers doing updates to it. And uh, I think there's many more uh, technologies that are getting implemented into it, right? So in the 5.0 version, or sorry, even 4.0, we saw the uh, addition of a push and shove router. So that allows you to basically move components around programmatically uh, as you're moving a trace through your design, you actually will see components move out of the way. And that's something that was in very expensive tools before, now it's kind of in here. On a more personal basis, like what you could do with it, not only can you contribute to the project, it's a C++ project, but from an accessibility standpoint, you know, it's a, there's a Python engine for actually writing scripts and implementing your own thing. So if you run into a real problem and you really want to solve it, you just go do it. Uh, that's kind of the power of of programming and uh, Python is a very friendly language, especially for scripting this kind of stuff out. So uh, let's take a quick look over at what's going on here. Uh, so what you want to do is you'll want to go over to the kicadpcb.org page. This is the, actually the official download page here, and you can, uh, like like I said, there are different versions. Uh, these are all uh, stable builds. So each one has directions for doing the 5.0 stable build. Now what I will say as well is that the uh, the you, you can just as easily go and do, uh, if you want to, you can, you can basically, uh, you know, do the nightlies. Nightlies are basically the thing where, as the developers are going along, they want to get the newest things implemented in their version so that they can pull them in, test them out, and then write new features against there. That's called the nightly version. So there's a build that happens every night. They're also testing their builds. I usually don't recommend that again. Uh, that's kind of like a looking forward thing. You can see new features and, uh, you can definitely see what's coming down the pipeline, but uh, I would not recommend making a new circuit board with that. So if you're starting a new design today, I would say start with 5.0. Okay, so another thing here is that we have the KiCAD.info forums. This is a, a site that I help run. It's a forum uh, for users of KiCAD, and I think this is a great place to get started. I think it's a great place for people to kind of figure out what they want to, you know, if, if they need help, uh, you can ask for help. A lot of the developers hang out on here. This is not the official development forum. There actually is a uh, mailing list for that. So if you're interested in getting started as a developer, you should want to go to the mailing list, but this is where it is. If you are a user, this is a good place to get started. So in terms of getting started, uh, first thing to do is basically download, download the thing and then uh, get it installed. Now I'm not going to show that for each version uh, because there's directions online. I think those are pretty straightforward. If you want to hear from me more about that, you can ask me uh, in the comments below. Uh, also, there is a mailing sign up, a uh, mailing list sign up on contextualelectronics.com. And again, to reiterate, contextualelectronics.com is a uh, it's a course. We it's a paid course. Probably should say that too. Uh, all of the KiCad stuff is always free and open to the public. 
But uh, if you want to take it further, right? If you want to build that next electronics project, if you want to follow along with me and other people, uh, you can do that. If you want to just go and talk about electronics as a forum, there's also a contextual electronics forum that is open to the public. Uh, some of that will be talking about projects, so you won't understand everything there, but a lot of people document in their builds, which I think is really great. So if you have any questions, head over to the contextualelectronics.com forum or uh, the KiCad forum is another great place, or really just go and get KiCad 5.0 installed. So I'm excited for these new sets of videos here, and hopefully you are too. Thanks for watching.